In this tutorial, I want to solve a problem that was given in May of 2005. Uh, the percent composition by mass of a hydrocarbon is given. You have carbon and hydrogen. Since the percents add up to be 100, you can put grams instead of percent sign. So for carbon, I have 85.6 grams. And for hydrogen, I have 14.4 grams. Convert them to moles, so divide by their atomic masses. Carbon is 12.01, hydrogen is 1.01. .01. In case of carbon, this ratio is 7.13 moles. In case of hydrogen, it's 14.3 moles. Now mathematically divide by the smallest of the two numbers, so at least the small one turns into one. And the later one, hopefully into a whole number, which is approximately two. So your empirical formula is one carbon, two hydrogen. Let's hold on to that. The second part of question is said you are given one gram of this sample at temperature and pressure and volume provided. Calculate molar mass. Now remember molar mass is nothing but mass divided by moles. Mass I have one gram. Moles I have to find. Where do I find it from? Ideal gas law. PV equal nRT, we solving for n, divide both sides of equality by RT. So it's pressure times volume divided by RT. Let's just plug in. Pressure has to become into kilopascal, three decimal places to the left, 1.01 .01 times 10 to power 2 kilopascal. Volume is 0.399 decimeter cube, no need to change it, it's same as our gas constant. Gas constant in IB for us doesn't change. 8.314, except instead of joules, we put kilopascal times decimeter cube. Divided by mole, divided by Kelvin. Times temperature, which they gave it to us as 273 Kelvin. When you do this, moles of the gas becomes 0 0.0178 moles. So let's just solve for molar mass. Molar mass is you have one gram of that gas divided by 0 0.0178 and it turns to be 56.3 grams per mole. Now I rather did it a little bit uh, more tedious than what I could have done. Notice 273 and 101 kilopascal these are conditions for STP. And remember, at STP, one mole of any gas occupy 22.4 decimeter cube. So I could have said, look, if that's the case, and I have 0.399 decimeter cube, how many moles do I have? And simply my moles would come to life, which would have been exactly the same, 0 0.0178 moles. And then I would go to the same sort of calculation for molar mass. Two different ways to solve it, whichever you use is fine. One is an uh, easy one, this just remembering Avogadro's volume, and one is the correct one. Both yield the same answer, your choice. Last part, the usual is once you have empirical formula and molar mass, what is uh, molecular formula? We are looking for a ratio, which is molar mass, divided by empirical formulas mass, which I call it empirical mass. Molar mass we just calculated, 56.3. What is empirical mass? Well, you have one carbon, which is 12.01, .01, plus two hydrogen, which is 1.01 .01 each. So this will give you 14.03 grams per mole. That's empirical mass or mass of empirical formula. So divide it by this, and you will get four times bigger. So your molecular formula is four times as big, and it's C4H8.